We invited the top 20 engine manufacturers for diesels. Rolls-Royce, Cummins, Cat, Detroit Diesel, all of them showed up. We got them all to sign in on our sign-in sign book. Mm -hmm. And then we fired up a 480 horsepower diesel engine on junk. Mm -hmm. Pickle juice, Mountain Dew, coffee, soda pop, anything we could throw in the fuel tank. Fired it up, no pollution. Mm -hmm. Well, the big corporations didn't send CEOs and presidents that make decisions. They sent their engineers out. Mm -hmm. Now, on film, with hidden cameras in the room, mm -hmm. we turned the main camera off and we said, now what do you think of this? And they said, hell, we don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Well, are you willing to go back and tell your bosses what you saw? No. Why not? Well, if we go back and tell them we see zero pollution after we just spent $50 million to get 1% or 2% improvement, yeah. and we look like dummies. Well, now you were talking about- So we're about... gonna go back and tell them this shit doesn't work. Mm -hmm. you, were, you were talking about putting this thing on a diesel for a monster truck, right? Well, we've had them on trucks. Yeah. I sold one diesel uh, Peterbilt I had here, uh, or Freightliner, I sold that for 65,000 bucks. Now, is the size of the tube and the gate, is that almost like the displacement of a cylinder normally? Kind of. Well, you're, you're comparing it to an engine again. Sort of, kind of. It makes kind of. fuel for anything that uses fuel. I can fire up a little three horsepower engine and make enough fuel from that engine to power a, a city. Yeah, because now it Power produces plant. it produces hydrogen, right? The hydrogen. No, it's a hydrogen-like substance and weight, but it does not explode. It implodes. Oh, okay, okay. So once you have a perfect burn going and no pollution coming out the tailpipe and in most cases, actually more oxygen coming out the tailpipe than there is in the air, at that point, you're making so much energy, you don't need it all. Yeah. We have more energy coming off the exhaust pipe than you get off the shaft of the engine. Yeah. So what we're doing, uh, when William Shatner called up and we chatted with him, he said it sounded like Star Trek technology. And I laughed, I said, well, if you remember the first few episodes where they sent Scotty up the tube, mm -hmm. up the plasma reactor, mm -hmm. to fix the plasma reactor, you saw this big glass crystal tube with a pipe inside it and a rod inside it. Mm -hmm. so the shape of the rod wasn't right, but everything else was right. And when they were showing the lightning bolts going through it, that's exactly what's happening in the geek. Mm. So he starts laughing, going, you mean to tell me this is another invention? that we first got to show on Star Trek? Yeah. I'm writing a book about this.